a household name and a force to reckon with. We're joined today by Indian badminton star Lakshya Sen, who is freshly back from his heroics, and he has become uh, the only Indian to reach the semi-finals of the men's singles badminton event at the Olympics. We speak to him exclusively in a conversation to try and understand his experiences and how he really did well. Laksh, firstly, thank you for joining us. How would you describe your performances? You did not win a medal. Of course, that must have been a little disappointing and devastating. But the whole of India really believes in you. Uh, they have loved your performance. How would you personally say your performance has been throughout the Olympics? First of all, I would say thank you so much for a warm welcome. And uh, yeah, to uh, summarize my whole uh, Olympic experience, I think uh, from where I started in the tournament and uh, how it went, uh, I'm happy with the way uh, I played in certain situations, certain matches, the way uh, I could keep my com composure uh, during uh, those matches and uh, win few big matches. I think uh, that is good. But yes, I think again uh, in the same line i would say there's a lot more to improve on and uh, i think this uh, olympics has taught me a lot of things and i mean still uh, if i look back and sit with my coaches about the matches and the situations that that i was in i think i have so much more to learn from uh, these matches and especially uh, uh, coming this close to the to a medal i think uh, at the end it was a bit heartbreaking but uh, yeah again uh, i think uh, I have so much more to look forward to uh, from this campaign. I think all the good things that I can take and again, uh, a lot of learnings as well. Your journey, especially the Olympic one, uh, besides the fact that it was self-inspiring, Victor Axelsen, who won the gold medal, has also said that Lakshya Sen is somebody who has the potential to win a gold at the LA 28 Olympics. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, nothing. I think... Uh, LA, I think it's too far for me to uh, think of it right now. I think uh, what I have to do is uh, just focus on how to uh, improve from here on. And I think I, I have a lot more other big tournaments to play now. And yes, definitely uh, LA will be there uh, in uh, in next, another four years. And this experience that I have will definitely help me uh, perform better and be uh, better prepared for another Olympics. But yeah, before that, I have uh, so many other uh, BWF tournaments that I want to uh, do well. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's too far ahead for me to think about it right now. And uh, yeah, my main aim is right now to like improve my, uh, like the fitness levels. And uh, I think uh, every day just try to improve my game uh, even more and uh, yes, uh, this tournament especially has given me a lot of confidence as well that uh, okay I was there and I've uh, done something right to achieve that so I think I'll continue to uh, play well and uh, yes I have, I have so much more to uh, play uh, this year and next year. Okay. You spoke about achievements so uh, earning an Olympic quota or birth is nothing short of an achievement in itself. You have had a very long a tiring and a fighting journey uh, from the Canada Open all the way up till the Olympics. How would you summarize that? How has the experience and the journey been so far? Uh, yes, lots of ups and downs in last uh, one, one and a half years. I think especially the Olympic qualification, it started in uh, uh, April and May. And then from there on, there was just uh, constantly tournaments around the world and yeah, we were just trying to uh, get good 10 tournaments so that we uh, see the qualification through uh, towards December so that we can then start to plan uh, accordingly uh, which tournament to play in. And But yeah, I think certain things were not in our favour and I think the uh, Olympic qualification was not sure until like March uh, end. So I think, yeah, I've seen a lot of ups and downs and I think the journey has been amazing when I uh, when I uh, sit back and look key how it went I think uh, I, I enjoyed every bit of it even being under pressure or um, having not performed well in few tournaments and then again going out there uh, to really find my rhythm and then yes uh, also when I qualified uh, for the uh, for the Olympics I think it was a uh, 
a big uh, achievement for me because I, I think I was uh, not sure of a qualification but again within a day uh, the mindset just changed to okay now I have to prepare for Olympics this was just a part of it I think that I have so much more uh, uh, looking forward uh, to playing the Olympics and then the day I uh, knew ki, okay I'm going to uh, the Olympics um, the preparation and for each day the uh, calendar was chopped out within uh, one or two days with the coaches and then yeah lots of ups and downs planning and uh, travel I think yeah but again uh, I enjoyed every bit of it and uh, yeah I'm ready to go out there and play another 10-12 years so I think this is something that I enjoy and I think I would uh, do that. You spoke of preparations uh, but also at the same time amidst this kind of competition, you are somebody who has remained calm. So amidst the preparations, uh, the nervousness and the pressure, does it also help with the fact that your brother, your grandfather, your father, they have been all badminton players besides the fact that you have a very interesting and a talented set of coaches also who led you on your uh, journey while you were representing the nation. So how important was family supporting? Uh, helping you trying to cope up with this pressurizing situation and having to perform at Olympics? Uh, yes, I think everyone in the team, I think, uh, was dedicated, motivated uh, to do well. Even when things were not going well or it was going well, we were like, uh, we, we were calm and uh, composed. Even when uh, the qualification wasn't through, Okay, the, yes, there was pressure, but I think uh, the family, they understand it uh, uh, in certain ways, especially my dad, my mom, they never forced me, ki, yaar, kya ho hai? Like, kyun nahi ho hai? but they were always uh, supportive and, and uh, the good thing about, uh, I think, Vimal sir, Prakash sir was, they were always hopeful that, okay, next one will come, next one will come, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, I think I would give uh, equal credit to the whole team, Prakash sir, Vimal sir, the SNC, uh, the physios and the mental trainers and uh, yes, a big uh, thank you to my family as well. Even my brother, I think last 7-8 uh, months he, he played less tournaments and he was travelling with me uh, uh, around helping with sparring and again a big thank you to uh, them as well and yes, I think it was a, a collective team effort I would say. Uh, uh, to achieve this goal and uh, yes, I am uh, really uh, proud to have uh, coaches like Prakash sir and Vimal sir and, and the whole team and especially my family. Right now, uh, uh, the Japan Open is underway. Of course, you are not participating but at the same time, you are going to the Red Bull Athlete Performance Center. What exactly is that supposed to be and why are you going there? So yes, I think we had a really long season. Uh, last year and uh, and yes this is the time where we get some time off because I think we have just finished a big event and uh, uh, yeah, you, the body needs uh, rest and I think next uh, last few days I was just resting and I was with the family uh, and but yeah now when I again start to train I think there are certain things that uh, I want to improve on and I think that uh, uh, that scientific knowledge that is required I think I want to make the most of it and I think that Red Bull Athlete Performance Center is I think one of the best to find uh, find those answers where I can uh, improve that extra 1% 2% of my uh, physical abilities and uh, yes I think I'm looking forward to it and I think yeah that but I, I know that if I go there now and uh, I think I won't see the uh, results in within a week or 10 days but I think that's a process that I want to put in for uh, next three to four years where I go there every three to four months get all the testing done, and then maybe uh, with with the amazing team uh, that I have I think they're all there to analyze and okay these are the certain areas I'm improving on okay there are certain things that I'm not uh, improving on their static so we change the program accordingly and I think a lot of the data that we are going to get from there will definitely help me going forward in next 4 to 5 to 10 years. So uh, Lakshya Sen of course became very famous as the only Indian to reach that level of Olympics in your event. 
but lakshya sen also became very famous for the no look shot so what was that who taught you that has somebody told you to practice that where did it come from because all the indians uh, were really amazed and they love you even more for it now yes i have uh, played that shot a lot in practice as well and um, yeah sometimes in matches as well but yeah it's really hard to get a point out of it because it's it's a very risky shot i would say and uh, i wouldn't try it Mm, uh, at that stage when when it came um, 1918 against jonathan christie first set but yeah, i think the, at that time the shuttle just went past me and i think the uh, the thing that i wanted ki yaar chhodna nahi hai shuttle so i think that uh, uh, that came inside my mind and i just said ki whatever is there i'm just going to try and play it and wo and it happened that time so i think uh, Yes, we have practiced it, but I mean, uh, deliberately, I wouldn't uh, play that shot at that point. But uh, again, uh, that uh, Christy played a really good shot, and I had no answers to that. I think that was the only option left for me to play because it, the shuttle had gone past me. So yeah, the the, uh, the only thing uh, was to just retrieve everything at that moment, and then even the next shot, I had to be extra alert because the quality of the shot was not really good. I think. It, went uh, uh, the other side and i was happy and i was uh, and uh, yeah i think uh, in the internet it went viral but uh, again uh, in practice we do play that shot but uh, in, in in a tournament situation it's a little bit risky to try it at that time so i was reading somewhere where it said that lakshya sen has very good aggressive techniques but at the same time he has also worked on his defensive techniques so now do, would you call yourself an overall wholesome player who has mastered a lot of techniques uh, i would say a lot of work is still remaining i think i'm i can still get better uh, at all all the aspects of the game and uh, yes as a uh, junior I, i used to be really really attacking and uh, used to play really fast paced game all the time and uh, yeah when i started playing in the seniors and uh, uh, you get exposed to different kinds of player where they play all round game or they some players are attacking some players are defending so defensive so you have to change your tactics accordingly and uh, from there on i have worked a lot on my defense uh, with my coaches and uh, and at the same time keeping the attack really sharp and uh, and uh, on on the variation i have worked a lot uh, especially on the attack but again uh, i can still uh, get so much more uh, better on all the aspects of the game and uh, i would like to uh, i think my only aim is to be an all round player so i have all the weapons in my bag and whenever i need uh, uh, whenever i need uh, according to the match situation i just okay this is not working let me try this and then uh, keep changing the game and uh, yeah uh, but again uh, i have to still improve a lot in everything you have uh, given credit to two of your teachers you said vimal sir and prakash sir worked very closely with you and they were fully invested so who is the most stricter teacher are you more disciplined after the olympics now uh yes i think even before i was disciplined uh, and uh, both of them uh, they are not like really strict on uh, certain things ki nahi uh, you have to do this way or to train this way they give you that opportunity to express yourself ki okay uh, you come up with ideas ki how you want to uh, train or is there any uh, uh, new things if you have your ideas please uh, bring it to us and don't uh, from a very young age they have uh, we have made that relation where uh, the the whenever uh, i'm training abroad or if i want to go somewhere and train or uh, uh, or play certain tournaments i think the they uh, they are more free in that way the like, okay you make your decisions i think because at the end, end of the day you are going to play on court and you know the things uh, better but again at the same time i uh, listen to them whatever they say because they have a really uh, big experience of uh, I, i can't count how many years they have devoted i think all their life they have been a top player and then coaches so i think whatever advice they give uh, has helped me in uh, in in my career and uh, again 
same with my dad i think he uh, he has also seen badminton for such a long uh, period of time and um, yeah, whatever advice i get from all of them i try to take it and uh, yeah sometimes uh, i like it sometimes i don't like it but i think you have to uh, listen to the coaches at times and then they we have that relation where they also listen to me when i say uh, certain things and uh, they they uh, like it when i uh, take charge of things and uh, i take control of the training and the, uh, all the things going on very quickly want to ask you uh, you were felicitated by pm modi also you met him uh, we believe that you told him prakash is very strict uno ne mera phone le liya tha to which he said that if he is that strict and that disciplined then we are going to send him for the next olympics as well so what do you have to say about that so i think after the uh, quarter final match i think prakash sir and me we decided that uh, because everywhere on the internet there was this back shot or uh, like messages from the family okay congratulations or about the match and the phone was just constantly uh, uh flooded with messages and stuff so prakash said i'm not going to use my phone and uh, even uh, you should not uh, use your phone for next 2 3 days and i said yes fine and he said and then i said sir you take my phone and then he said okay you take my phone and i just want to lead by example ki uh, i'm not just me ki i'm going back and uh, using my phone you take my phone so actually we exchanged phones Uh, for two days and uh, we uh, i think we messaged uh, our family that if there is anything you call vimal sir and we can get in touch with uh, him but yeah i think that is uh, something that i want to uh, uh, have a mental discipline about going forward where uh, uh, i don't spend too much time on social media especially on uh, important matches that i'm uh, going to play uh, forward but yeah i think he has uh, been strict but in a in, in a very uh, good way uh, my last question to you lakshya is uh, <coughs> we i won't say had a very disappointing campaign but it is also upsetting that indian shuttlers we were hoping from will win a medal so our badminton contingent of course didn't win so have you spoken to the other shuttlers what is their mood and mindset like have you all moved on in a positive way and are you all content with the fact that we played really well and will continue to do more better in the future to come what is it like are you all happy at peace happy satisfied with your performance uh i can't talk about other uh, players because i think after the tournament i haven't met any of them or had a conversation because yeah i mean mentally uh, when you there is certain expectations and you don't do well uh, in in a tournament and uh, the performance is not uh, there i think everyone is on their own but for me personally uh, yes it's uh, a bit disappointing that uh, i came so close to the medal and still uh, didn't win but again uh, i think that's what sports teaches you ki uh, you have to uh, move on and you, there is so much more to uh, play for in the in the future but uh, again yeah i mean olympics is a big one so it might hurt for another couple of months or maybe a year so we, we don't know yeah. all right thank you very much for your time and all the best to you in the future years to come may you continue to win more medals and make our nation proud thank you lakshya sen that was india's rising badminton star who has achieved the highest feat and the laurel ever by an indian to reach the men's singles badminton category at the most coveted olympics with cameraman rajinandar they could have fight yesterday mumbai